Hey kids, what, what I'm going to try here is to explain how I'm going to tackle this alignment that I got to do on the 38-116 uh, Philco. And uh, there's a little more to it than than a regular radio because this is a quote-unquote high fidelity radio. And what it says here in the uh, in the directions here so I'll read it to you quick here. Basically, you got a connected signal generator through a 0.1 microfarad condenser, and that's so you don't blow up your uh, signal generator with any uh, DC voltage, to the grid of the second IF tube. And that's over here. The grid of the second IF, which is right there connected there and I'm thinking you know I've been reading about this and he said a good spot to to uh, put your scope is on the output of the second detector you know instead of going off the amplifier so I think I'll go right there for the output of the scope and then it says to make the adjustments um, there's two compensators you have to adjust then it says connect the signal generator lead, signal generator lead output lead to the with a 0.1 microfarad condenser to the grid of the 6A8 mixer tube. So essentially, what what we're doing here is you got to do each IF separately. So what you got to do, if I could show it here. the 6A8 mixer tube, so you have to put the signal generator next to the grid of the 6A8 mixer tube and inject it into there. Then adjust four compensators, what they, what they call 51D, 51C, 51B, and 51A. And then they want you to check for two equal peaks. And they give you a whole subset directions for doing that like over here. And basically it says here that they want you to shift the signal generator between 460 and 480 kilocycles because this radio is running at um, 470 kilocycles for the IF. So they want you to go beyond that like five kilocycles on each side and they, they want you to monitor the output of the, um, you know, like the output off one of the output tubes, audio output tubes, with your VTVM. And when you, sh when you shift the signal generator from, signal generator from 480 down to 460, you should get two peaks on the, um, on the meter. And then you adjust the compensator so the peaks are equal. And they, they want to do that for, for the bandwidth because this is a, uh, quote unquote high fidelity radio. So basically what they're saying here, I'll draw a little picture, is that they want the IF to to look like this. You know, they want it to come, maybe peak in the middle, uh, you know, have a little dip in the middle and come back down. And they want they want it to spread from 460 to 480 with 5 kc on each side here so I mean to do this by by ear or by a voltmeter I mean you can't do it by ear because if you try it by ear let's say you, you tried by ear you may be like peeking up like this But you're off the frequency, like at 470 is here, and you listen to audio peak, your peak will be here, but you're kind of missing the bandwidth here. So, you know, they, they look for equal peaks on each side of 460 to 480, and they want like a little dip in the middle there. So the best way to do that is with a sweep generator.
And there's a couple videos I've been looking on YouTube for sweep generators. Uh, Banderson TV got one. He just put one up about a week ago. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then we had, um, we got one from this guy here. S-H-A-N-G-O-0-6-6. It's pretty good. He shows how he does it on the IF using television. This is the IF of a television. And it shows the peaks. That, well, they're not equal, but he explains all about that. But let me show you what I picked up yesterday. Or I ordered it on eBay. And I got it in yesterday. Got a nice... Oh, yeah. Do you see the Christmas tree? Yeah. What do you think, huh? Ooh, it's got a star on top, too. But looky here. This is a... Um, from the comforts of the living room. I picked this up for about... $60 on eBay. It's a BK Precision Dynascan Corporation 3030 Sweep Function Generator. I got that hooked to my Tektronix scope. And uh, let's turn it on here. You could turn it on here. And this is a nice wave it's putting out. Turn the brightness up here. And what it's doing here, see, it shifts a little bit because this is the start of the sweep, and that's the end of the sweep. But then you can start it, you can start it sweeping. I'll put the switch on to start it sweeping, and I'll show you what it does. I'll start it sweeping, and you can see it moving like that. But it has two different controls here. You can set the start sweep and the stop frequency. Here, I'll vary that here. You can see what it does with the wave. See, it changes the start and the stop. So it's sweeping across those frequencies I've determined. And this is just for a demonstration. It's not what I'll be injecting into the radio on the grid of those tubes I talked about. So I could stop it. And it has different functions on it too. And I'll show you what that does. Like I'll be using the sine wave, but you could you could make as because it's a function generator, you could make a cool triangle wave, make a cool square wave. And you could change uh, the symmetry if you wanted to. Like that. And you could do that with a sine wave too if you wanted to. Vary the symmetry. It's like really cool. I wish I had one of these a long time ago, but I figured I needed one of these because of the instructions on the uh, on how to do the IF. So that so that's about it, folks. And uh, you take it easy. Have a great day. I'm gonna take this stuff out to the garage, and hook it up to the radio, and and try to align each of those IF stages, or at least see what I got first before I even do it. So. Um, Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.